playing as the yellow orcs, this is the one and only Aqua Kazam. You think he's not gonna go for an occultist? Well, you're wrong. He likes it. On the other side, as the blue trolls. This is Rebel Luke. He chose this map. Very rare. I like it. I know many of the viewers don't. Three choppers lined up. They laid out for a cinematic. Uh, got the chieftain. And I like Aqua to actually um, make these caddies mad and throw them into the stone or something. That will slow down things a lot here. Meanwhile, he can go to the opposite side of the map and get some bases done. The War Rider is already here. It's actually gone around the Medusas to speed things up. Uh, it's a little bit faster to just go here instead of going up here and here. But yeah, the Smasher is already around to... To halt the progress of this thing. You obviously don't want to sacrifice a smasher to the revenants though. Oh, Kazam might have messed it up. He did. Oh, wow. He is not going to pull anything in here. Oh, but the Skellies have seen the smasher. Well, it's not a big deal. They're going to turn around. Damn, Kazam definitely is not enjoying this. Oh, there's six lumber mills right now. And once again, he's going for the one stone cutter there. Cool, cool, cool. Splash. No, big boy doesn't want to go in this splish splash. Hey, get the godstone, yes. Oh, there's gonna be a bit of chasing going on. Well, let's see if Kazam can actually get the bases. He'll definitely get the creeps. At least one of them. Got a second smasher. I would actually like to see a smasher in this base, to be honest. Okay, we should know now uh, that the creeps need to be checked on. But you know what, maybe... Maybe Rebeluke is just happy to take these out. As long as there's no flags, I think he's fine. He can pretty easily kill the Medusas after all. Um, also, the Skellies are easy for him. And you still get the get, uh, creepos. Oh, they really want to deny the other one. <laughs> Good idea. Of course, this is a little idle. Kazam. Um, is he rusty or is he defending it on purpose? Nah, that was on purpose. Not bad, not bad. He can help. Magua praise. Magua praise. Is he gonna get a hit in? Quite a few, actually. That's nice. He turns around. More hits coming in. Like I said, skeddies are easy. If you're a troll. You'll get most of the experience here. 
should be level 4. Oh, the one smasher. It has to be careful, though. I also think the spam standard might come up. Good news for Kazam. What have we got here? Not much. Got level 4 for the Chieftain. Not sure what kind of potion got picked up for Kazam. He has 3 health potions left. Oh, nice pick off. Yeah, that was nice. Rebel Luke has 4 potions. Should probably heal up the Smashers a bit before going for another camp like the Medusas. Although there's a fourth Smasher coming. And he's potentially producing more. Medusa Swillies. Going for the sector healing bonus there. Going for those smashers. Kazam, on the other hand, also killing. Oh! It's a good number of Scoundrel. It's going tier 2. Reaching it just now. It's got uh, Frontier Post here. Getting one up there as well. I'm not sure you can hold that base, uh, however. <laughs> it's good. That looks rough. Not a whole lot of food overall in the bank. Especially if he tries to make a lot of iron mines now. Gets level 5, Rebel Luke does. That's why I was watching this so much. And we should see Slam 2, Thick Hydra Age. Yeah, just the left side, guys. It's the cheapest way. So I have to try, getting a little weak. Do wonder if we'll see a teleport to it. Yeah, just wanted to banner first, I guess. Should be fine for the most part. And that one week smasher still regenerating though outside of combat. I have to try will fall, but I don't think that the cultist is gonna have a really good time trying to fight here. Especially stuck in the demonic fact. He's dying, man. Oh he dead. Will the gobbles be enough to take out all of these smashers? They're actually just gonna run away. Okay, my banner will be built back and all the buildings are still here, so it's not too bad, you know. Chieftain should be able to hold the gobbles with some nice smashes and stuff. Forms are coming in and we're gonna be at six iron mice total. And like I said, this fortified outpost is here, right next to the troll base. I do wonder whether we'll see some production here. Rebeluke did pick stuff as we expected. Kazam is still on level 4, however. Could be a problem. Hunter upgrade almost done. That's the only upgrade building for now. We'll be able to put the worker back into wood or stone whenever he notices. Probably buying an armor. Oh! Level 2 everything. Fine. Well, that could have been better. Overall, a decent smash, but not gonna actually kill any of the scoundrel. Probably needs to run from here. Uh oh, those smashers are about to get surrounded. Watch out. 
because I'm doing a great job actually zoning them. But still he doesn't have the sector count that he really wants. Uh, this opposite side is completely empty. Great smash going down. See if he can get one or two smasher kill here. Oh, it can't go out of the demonic pack though. Gets one smasher. That's pretty good. Oh, the chieftain got really low. I do wonder if he can... Nah. He just used nullify on the other guys. That one smasher, I think. More stuff coming in, but the hunters are here. So Rebel Luke will have to get some unit upgrades or something. Because these are not going to cut it anymore. Two scrap hordes? What? Alright. Alright. There's no upgrade buildings, so it's just the hunters. I mean, it's just the smashers here. It's going back. Oh man, that guy is butt naked. Oh god. He chunky. Is that some money? Fire orbs, interesting. All right, we got the equip. Oh, they're just gonna use the godstone for this. That's totally fine. Did he not take everyone? What's going on? Is that all the smashers? Gets the fake hide rage. Oh god, he's weakened. If Kazam just shoots him now, he's not looking. Are you kidding me? He could solo it. One shot, and it would go down. Man, that's a missed opportunity for sure. Even the Eye of the Tribe survives. Oh my god. Kazam on 60 population, not a whole lot of resources, not a whole lot of bases to begin with. Uh. Trying to rely on farms, needs more fortified outposts if he wants to do that. But if he does, he won't have the food. Missing some... Oh, that building is... Old news. Dude, he's deleting the smashers though, that's pretty good. But that occultist is gonna take some big health damage! Yes, he's out of the demonic pact, holy shit! Goes back up, tanks and the smashers. Yeah, that was too many hunters to fight. They would just do too much damage there. Uh, where did they go exactly? Back up here, okay. Well, they're gonna heal, they're gonna have the base to help. But is that gonna be enough? But Luke still doesn't have any upgrades, does he? No. Zero uh, tech buildings. Zero. I don't know what he's thinking. He's, he's just playing with smashers, that's it. Oh, I actually might get the occultist there. It has fake high rage ready to go, should he need it. Not pressing the button, however, is a bit of a disaster. I'm not sure that I have to try can hold this off. Smash the sure as hell is di are dying. It's three more. But that's nowhere near enough. These guys are gonna get so slow. Half speed, oh my god. Only five smashers on the map for Aqua Kazam. He has got 17 hunters and 14 scoundrel. That's more than enough to take this out. I think this side of the map is gonna belong to Kazam. And once it does, he should be able to grow pretty big. It's not Ancient City where you just don't have XP and uh, don't have bases. This is good.
Chieftain is about to be back. Won't be able to pick up much of anything. Maybe a ring would be a nice idea, though. Like four resistances. Uh, Occultist actually has gotten some stuff. Oh, he's level 5 for the first time, right? So now he has the blood like tar. Then he's got Sanguine Burst. What's this Chieftain up to? Oh no. Oh man, he gets cancelled. He said something bad on Twitter. Oh my god, he's taking such big hits. Snipe. I don't see how you come back from this now. Not without a ton of spike fingers. That's like one way. Yeah, they're leaving as they should. There better be some kind of upgrade building by now. Like, it's 16 minutes and we're only on smashers. This is not gonna. This is not supposed to work. It's a miracle he's alive. Throwing camp and hitting camp only now started. Ugh. This base is probably just something that dies here. Sure, his targeted hunter doesn't die. And yeah, base is toast. Okay, Chieftain is here. And we're gonna see a uh, strong heart of the tribe. Doesn't give you extra workers, but allows you to upgrade the other bases. So, should see some of that now. Oh no, this boy is idle. He not... He no work. They're very expensive, so shouldn't lose them just like that. Oh, man. Oh, Kazam leaves it alive. It's running away now. No repair. Oh, dude. I don't know, I think the nerfs have gotten to Rebel Luke. He's finally getting the flingers. He's just completely forgotten about good units. Smashers aren't, so... They're good for a little bit, but... You gotta get better stuff. Zan is just taking over the entire map. And he even finds a potion on the ground. What? I didn't even see that. And I have OCD about those. Firebomb. Not gonna do the trick, of course. This is a much better trade, as you guys can see. This needed to happen earlier. It's a little too late. Army wasn't quite big enough. And honestly, Kazam should be able to just remax. Everything should be fine. Decent kiting on the flingers, but they're gonna be picked off.
because that needs to remax. Uh, this was a good trade, but he doesn't want to chase. Not yet. Oh, the food is out in the main. Oh, I mean the wood. Food is going to be out eventually. Would be a nice little help to recycle the lumber mills. Yeah, there's like three lumber mills. That's 30 wood that he would get back. Then he would need to make more. Yeah, there's a lot of buildings that he's just leaving on the map for whatever reason. Um, would easily be able to get the cost back that he needs for everything else. It's 50 wood that I was counting. Taking over the godstone, of course. You don't want Revolute coming up there with a bunch of uh, <laughs> war breakers or something like that. Breaking through the wall, breaking the law. Breaking some zombie necks. And that dragon is next. Let's see how that goes. Zam's already here, taking the bases. Uh, but he's happened on this side first, and he'll know when the trolls are here. Is it full pop? Almost. See her free. Uh, I would like to see some... Uh, trolls, actually, from him. Making against the other trolls. Dude, did he research everything? That's insane. Uh, Bloodforge doesn't have any of the armor upgrades or weapon upgrades yet. Interesting. Trolls have teleported back. Revolution 110 pop. Mostly smashers. This is not good. It's almost pure hunter here. <laughs> and there's the war troll. Kazam has two more and a bunch of brutes coming. It's going to be really difficult to hold this. They're gonna smash that base, man. There's nothing here to stop it. Trolls are coming in, but it's way too late. And there's no army, like... This is too tiny. Four war trolls. And more. Every time the orcs take over a base, they just build there, and it's probably never gonna be taken away. The 
Trolls are trying, but the units are too basic for this. Yeah, Chieftain gets knocked down and focused by like a million hunters. They use Thick Hide Rage. He still gets hurt. It's insane. Got like 100% resistance on Pierce, but once that's gone, boom, instantly dead. And GG is caught. Kazam advances out of the group. Very solid. There were just no units left here to defend with. 